Skill Bite here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install these gutter guards or Raptor gutter guards or Atlas. They come in a lot of different names. So Amazon, Costco, Lowe's, Home Depot all sell a version of this. So what you'll probably want to do is check your cost per foot to see which one you want. They will come with obviously the gutter guard. Mine came with screws, so you can screw it on, or you can use the 3M tape. I actually do both, and I'll show you why. And came with a magnetic uh, screwdriver bit, which is really helpful so you don't drop those things from the roof. I do suggest, so I got these from Amazon. They're the Raptor name. They sell a sample, it's like eight, nine bucks. Link is in the description. I do suggest going ahead and getting this just to make sure that it's gonna fit on your gutters. And they come with insulation instructions. Things you're gonna need. First of all, you're gonna to have to clean your gutters. So something to clean the gutters out with. Also, you need to make sure your gutters are in decent shape so you may need something like this if they're sagging I've got a video on that links in the description if you're gonna use a 3m tape you want some rubbing alcohol and something like paper towels or rag you'll probably want gloves tape measure good tin snips sharp tin snips I struggled with these maybe some pliers I'll show you what I'd use the pliers for, a sharpie to do some marking, and a ladder. There's the slant. It's a Cape Cod style house. First thing you need to do is clean your gutters. I have cleaned them. <laughs> the cedar tree stuff just keeps falling in. And you may have to repair your gutters if they're sagging, otherwise they may not fit, they'll fall in. Once you got them clean, I'm starting at the downspout. And what I suggest now, this is now the steeper angle definitely makes it harder to deal with. When I get this on camera. And as much of a pain as it is, you got to put it in first. Well, my suggestion is put it in first. Now you see where this is using something like a Sharpie. So I need to have a little more hanging over. Pull it out far enough where it will come into the gutter. Now I'm going to mark the edge and I'm going to mark right at the shingle edge. Okay. Now we go, we take it back out because we got to cut it. The reason I put mine up first is because mine don't line up in a straight line and I don't want this sticking out past the shingle. And using sharp, hopefully tin snips, cut the aluminum part. There's a couple options for this part. You can cut it if your tin snips are good enough. Mine do not like to cut it. Or
you can pull them off. I personally have found that this is easier than cutting them. Now we're going to go back up on the ladder and we'll put them in, tucking this in to the gutter. Now it can be helpful to bend this a little bit. Hopefully that's in the camera. I'm going to actually leave this up initially. Don't wear gloves, be prepared to have some uh, sore poked hands. All right, these are now in. I'm gonna slide it down a little bit so that I can then push it back. And bring, ow, bring this down. You may have to form this. To get it to cover. Over the downspout, I am putting screws so that I can remove this and check it. On these others, I'm going to be sticking them down with a 3M tape because I won't have to remove them I'll have to clean since I'll have this one and I'll the other end I'll use screws so I can on each end I can remove them I can spray water down or whatever to clear them out if needed Let's pull it towards the edge of the gutter and you can see right here hopefully there's not too much camera glare you can see how much of overlap there is you do have to have right here so it'll overlap it's pretty much where this groove is and i'm going to put it about there Now, one more in the middle, one more on the edge. I have my drill on torque setting one. It's just aluminum. About there. It moved on me. First one's done. Now with some rubbing alcohol. Clean the edge. <laughs> Literally taking the paint off. This is going to allow it to stick really well. Do a so straighten these ends, and I do just a little bend. Try more this side. Straighten the other end.
lot harder with the steeper roof. I get mine nice and close, with no gap. So now, got the joint in a good position there. I could have flattened that out, but it's aluminum be easy to fix a pair of pliers but that's pretty good now I'm gonna take doesn't matter which side you start on a couple inches pull it towards you and then just touch it now pull the red tape touch it the key is Keep it pulled towards you. As you're pulling the tape. There you go. And then just press that down. And the 3M tape is really good. Looks like it's working fine with the sharp angle. Always test though first. Buy a sample, it's worth the eight bucks or 10 bucks, whatever. A little trough here if you can do it to help it catch the water. I've done some testing and it does seem to work pretty well even without the trough, but that, that will help slow the water down in a heavy rain. So gutter glove says that this angle needs to be 5 to 25 degrees. If yours is more than 25, it's going to want to just run off. If it's less than 5, it's just going to sit on it. Hopefully I can keep this one in the camera. This is my last piece. I have, I have it all the way to the end here. And then I have this much overlap. What I need to do is measure six and three eighths. So we'll want to shorten it the other end, six and three eighths of an inch. Just to show you here, I went with the micro mesh because the cedar, this will just fall through a three sixteenths inch hole. So the micro mesh will keep that out, whereas some of the others won't. And this, that is called a cedar tree and it's over my roof. All right, this one was very hard to get in. Got a little blood, but not too bad. Since this one is the dirtiest, I'm going to screw it in in case I got to take it off, spray water down. As hard as it was to get in, I hope I don't have to. Tucked in nicely with it hangs over and then tucks in. Here's a close-up of an end. And on the steep angle roof, you're going to have this right here. Might have been able to cut this or and then bend it down some and then over. I don't know that this will show anything, but It's 
So some did come over at the very start. I think that was surface tension. But now nothing's coming over. Now there is still obviously some, yeah, wherever it first hits, it'll go over the initial and then once the once it does start falling through it gets past the surface tension then it starts draining through the mesh go back to the right all right so watch it come down there it went over just a little bit and now it's going through so yeah that it did that in my testing in the sink also uh, so i was running water on the sample and the first bit of water would go over because there was enough surface tension to keep it from falling through but then once it was wet it went right down now if it's truly raining the whole thing will get wet at the same time we had a storm last night now it was night i didn't wasn't able to get video of it but I didn't see anything coming over and it was quite windy blew a lot of leaves off of that enormous pear tree and a lot of the cedar twigs well I'm glad I got these up I'd be cleaning gutters again in no time so hope that was helpful if so, please like, subscribe, comment, and good luck with yours.